tragedy in New Fairfield, where tonight it looks like a father who thought he was shooting a burglar wound up killing his own son. We're glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer, in for Keith Koontz. I'm Ann Nyberg. That man went to help a neighbor because she thought somebody was breaking into her house. Yeah, that's when the man shot and killed that suspected burglar, only to find out it was his own son. News 8's Jamie Miro live for us in New Fairfield tonight with the very latest. Jamie? Well, Darren, when state police arrived on the scene, they saw two people, one that was sitting in the grass wearing a white T-shirt. Another person was in the driveway to what police were saying, holding a weapon. And as you mentioned, only later would this town learn that one person was the father and the other was the son. New Fairfield's Meeting House Hill Circle is blocked off. Not far from where this town employee sits lies a crime scene that defies any expectation. A man shoots a suspect who turns out to be his son. This is just so upsetting on so many different levels that, uh, you know, a town like this was small, close-knit, everyone's devastated for, for so many different reasons. And this is the reason why this child, 15-year-old Tyler Giuliano, was the burglar. State police say around 1 a.m., a woman calls Tyler's father, Jeffrey, to say there is someone breaking into her home. Jeffrey grabs his gun, goes outside, sees a man dressed in black with a black ski mask. The suspect lunges, and Jeffrey opens fire, killing him, later learning. It was his son. They've released the name of the person, who, uh, the, uh, the child. Okay, so we now know the father shot his son. That's, that's, you know, much, I'm sure much to his horror. You know, he had no idea, I'm sure, at the time. Which clearly is going to be the most shocking element about this. It, it, absolutely. Absolutely. You have someone coming over to help their neighbor, and then you find out later on that it was actually your son who was the alleged intruder. Word spread quickly to Tyler's high school around town. The only thing stronger than disbelief now is sorrow. We are going to take care of the families. We've locked down that street. We, 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 want, we want them to, to have their time. There are only nine houses on the block. We want them to have their time to go through what they need to go through. Now, the investigation is ongoing. State police really stressing here tonight that this is an isolated incident, meaning that this is not connected to any other earlier reported burglaries. We're live in New Fairfield tonight. I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.